guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another day of vlogging. <laughs> so we're actually starting to get work some work done today. Um, actually, work work for the company, not work work in general of fixing my trucks up. Anyways, um, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. And I think most of my audience is guys, so that's and not and that's not in a like gay matter whatsoever. Anyways, guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, let's get the day started. Like I said, finish up some work. Uh, I'm actually I here later today. I print all paper. I got to go out in the closets and do some measurements because ordered. Uh, I'm gonna order some back seats for the truck right now because my door panels I'm working on. I had to take two speakers off, and now we're down to only two. Uh, well, one speaker off was going to have three six and a halfs on it. Now we're down to two six and a halfs because we're limited to room. And I'm like, I'm not building a whole door panel for just two six and a halfs when the door already carries one. Like, screw that junk. So we're going to measure it. If it works out, we'll order some bucket seats. They're black and white leather uh, like racing style seats they look really good they recline like i said i did want to put seats in all four i wanted four seats single seats instead of like the bench seats um so i gotta make sure to fit the back and still have room up front and i gotta make sure like since i'm a big guy i can fit in it and everything all right so i was working got ready cut some bases out i forgot i didn't get no wood yesterday Oh, and it's like anytime you like actually leave your shop and stuff and come back, you don't want to work anymore because I have to ride all the way to Bluefield, come all the way back. But I think my uncle, he actually was out there this morning. He borrowed my welder because he's building the one for the Jeep. He's actually, he's seen online where they had like a two inch lift that would drop down everything. So he was like, well, I could build one. So he's actually building this. They borrowed my welder to weld. But. I'm pretty sure I've seen a piece of wood just like I use in his shop. I think I might go out there and try to bribe him. I just got back and guess what? We got the wood score! So now we go in there, finish the work up, and have some fun. So I got my paper of what my seat's gonna look like. We're actually gonna measure it in Colossus. This side, cause this side's got crap on. Uh, we're gonna, damn, do it in super ramp. I gotta fix it. I never put the key lock on this one, so you gotta unlock it by the other side. But the electric locks don't work, like I said. So you gotta roll down the window and just this, this. So we'll just measure it in the super ram because they are the exact same truck. So I will show you my plan. Right here is the seats I'm wanting to buy. Now it's got white leather, black leather. We'll probably have the belts come down, like I said. I don't really care for those belts, but um, this is the only problem about the second gen. Your seat belts are not here or here. They're there, and then we turn the key on, they'll come in. And like I said, my driver's seat on Colossus is actually messed up. I have to keep unplugging the button, uh, the thing down there, because I was going to put it on toggle, but I was like, screw that. We'll just put new seats in it so what I'm going to do is measure this because as you see we don't have too much room to work back here but I want to have one seat here there 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 custom middle console coming all the way back and some kind of sub right there in the middle now this right here actually goes up heel so we can actually sit the seat on down farther than this seat and the seat just ate my paper uh, seat so we can lower it down because I don't want it to stick up too high but like I said I'm not really worried I don't drive Colossus that much but we just want to make it cool and badass so when I do people will be like oh my god George you're so awesome in theory I hope that's what people say alright so the seat is 
25, well, I mean 21.5 inches long. How wide is this? That's 17. We need to go all the way to the back. Oh, we got, there's actually a lot of room behind this seat. Of course, it is at an angle. Ugh. Now, these seats right here won't be able to recline. So, if we do that, ugh, bear with me. Uh, if we did that, you're looking about, actually, they're going to be, this seat right here is actually about 23 inches because of where it curves out. So, 23 inches. So, we actually had to see a little bit. But you see we got the back right there. So it might work. Um, the seat, now the seat over there, my seat always leans back. So I'm not worried about if it gets close to touching it. But I say these seats right here aren't as thick as these. That's, I'm actually going to order one. And it's going to be a driver's side. I can sit and place the way I want. Because if I don't want it, I know I can always sell it online to somebody. Um, it's like $117 just for one. Free shipping. Can't beat that. So, that right there would work. We're looking at 36 inches. Let me set this up. Oh. Set the camera up to measure right. Measure it right. Ugh. Mm. Okay. So, we're looking at 36 inches. What move? Uh, Dag on you, jacket. Dag on you. Why would you deceive me? Here we go. Well, you think you clean your truck out, but you still find the trash over there. Okay. 36 inches. Holy shit. 36 inches way up here. Let's see if I get that. That's 36 inches is right here. Which ain't too bad. I mean, the seats will be up pretty good. But like I said, we'll mount them all the way down as we can. That's to the very tip top of it. But we still got the mirror in the back. I mean, we can still look between the seats. So 36 inches should be okay. It's almost like with somebody actually sitting in it. Um, let's see. The seat. Here's the thing. It's like I'm a big guy. So I want to need some room. And that's one thing. I wanted it to be I want it to be comfortable and I didn't want it to be narrow. So I'm gonna measure let's move this around to the front. I've got this stupid little Cyclops looking tripod, but it's hard still to get your camera to go where you want. Oop, if I can look and see. Alright. This right here is 22 inches. 22 inches. This one right here, the whole seat is 21 and a half inches. Not too bad. I think we'll actually have 21. Yeah, so we'll have plenty. And see, my problem is one of the things that while I'm wanting to do this, while I'm doing it so soon, is that. Well, I'm doing my door panel. Basically, I'm doing this just so I can get some kick-ass looking back door panels. My door panels... What the hell? Piece of candy cane. Freaking people rise with me. Uh, <laughs> um, my back door panels are hitting my door. You'll see that in a new episode coming out of Garage Edition maybe tomorrow or something. Uh... I had them set where I want. I put them in the truck. They hit everything. And it's like, because I didn't know the door panel actually drops a couple more inches than what. I didn't know the door panel went all the way down here, which I should have. And then everything hits. And you can see, look how close that is. What is this? What is that? Oh, that's that dust off of that door panel. <laughs> like, what the heck? Anyways, so that's what is messing me up. But see, when I get those other seats, I can actually move them even farther as I need. Because this right here... Actually, you know, I don't even know if this... This might be part of the truck that I can't cut. Ooh, I just thought about that. Hang on for a second. Okay. Get stuff off camera. Okay. 
Thank goodness Dodge didn't screw me over because I swear these stupid back seats, I've never had this much trouble building something. Door panels would have been done if it wasn't for <laughs> having to work around this seat. Like I said, I'm not going to build some cool door panels for only two six and a halves. It's like at least three is the minimum. So I was looking at this, I was like, no, because like I'm not going to cut anything that is good, uh, that I need. But we can unbolt that so this can come off so I can take this seat out, take this off, and we'll have all this to work with on the other. So after all that, we'll be good to go. So I'm actually going to take that, put it back so we, we will have that. So we'll actually have all that open right from right here. So we'll still have this little hump right here that we still have to work over, but that'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, I'll have to measure, remeasure it from the hump. And then I know how far it come over. And then basically the door panel have one, two, three, and that'll still be, so we can go back to your original plan of how I want to put it. All right, guys, we're done with the work. Um, well, I actually finished about three o'clock. It's now almost five. I was supposed to go out tonight, Thank, you know, for uh, Thanksgiving. For Valentine's Day, well, that got thrown out of proportion. So I guess I um, actually ordered some pizza uh, from Gino's and I'm going to go over there and pick it up and everything. Enjoy my, my night at chilling at home, editing some videos and watching a movie. Uh, but we did work on the piece back there some the garage edition build should video should be coming tomorrow what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to do a video every monday wednesday and friday it might it just depends on weather now summertime i could do it and when i get my big shot built i'll be able to do it because i can pour everything in but it just depends on weather if it's like freezing cold outside i don't work outside so that depends on the garage edition video um but anyways i'm gonna change real quick and Go grab some pizza uh, for my Valentine's Day dinner. <laughs> and then I'll probably edit the Garage Edition video and then this vlog will go up tomorrow. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. It's like, I can't wait to get the seats in. Uh, it's just, I'm, I'm so excited. It's like, I don't know, it's like, fix this. Uh, I've been really happy with... Uh, you know, just doing the videos and everything. And I hope everybody else enjoys it too. Like I said, you're always, I'm going to always have people complaining because that's what people does. But I want to thank everybody for always staying positive, especially if I get down and I say something. I used to have a lot of people, you know, come up like, oh, no, you do great. I just want to thank everybody for doing that. And thanks for everybody who comments on my vehicles and tell me they can't wait to see Super Ram and Colossus. And don't forget, we do have the Super Ram will hopefully by the end of this week I'll have it in uh, spin tires we'll have a model of it and I, if everything turns out with that good that model I'm actually going to have Colossus done also um, and then I know the Super Ram's going to look different by the summer so I'll get another one made of it it's kind of like a little update but I'm going to change real fast and go get some pizza every freaking time the gaslight comes on oh my god got that truck gaslight came on Gaslighting this truck came on. I'm gonna start filling. <laughs> Today is not my day. I'm gonna start filling up uh, every truck. Probably not. I still get crappy gas mileage. My camera's a little bit. I get um 9.5 miles per gallon. 9.5 smiles per gallon. It's 45 out now, but I swear it feels a little colder. I got shorts on, and uh, it's pretty chilly. Like, I've had the garage, the heat in my garage on for a while, but we're gonna hit the road and go get some food. This guy just went by my truck. He's like, look at that here in this drive-thru. I don't believe he knew I had my window down. <laughs> he looked at me, he's like, yeah.
got a large pizza with, uh, and I always ask what your thing is, and I got the, it's like a special where you buy one, get one free, which the pizza shouldn't be that much, but the shit was like $21. How does that even make, how does that even make sense? If it's $21 and you get one pizza free, it's usually like $13 for large pizza. I think I just paid for two pizzas. Well, that sucks ass. All right, guys, we're back home. We got the pizza. Like I said, it was $21. I don't understand. One was supposed to be free, and usually it's like $13. I think I paid for both of them. Look at it. Anyways, guys, I hope everybody had a great day. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Mine was pretty good. I worked. Made some money. It's like, it's like one of the main things. But anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you punch that subscribe button. Just punch it. I need like one of, like a punching glove and a punching bag to butt. Punch it. <laughs> anyways, guys, this is George, and I'm out of here. <laughs>